Hey everyone, I'm recording this video in a way of response to um, an inquiry I had about my Boolean video that I posted oh, a long while ago. And rather than uh, writing a, a long incoherent block of text trying to explain it, I figured I'd just do a video and try and help everyone out. So his question is, um, he has a pendant that he wants um, the backside hollowed out and the inside to save on material. So I've got uh, one of the pendants I made um, a while ago, and I'm going to show a process of how to do that. Uh, there's a few ways of going about it. One of them, uh, which can take a little bit of time, is uh, just to make a Boolean object that you can uh, stretch by hand to kind of fill out these spaces. So, in order to do that, you have to, um, at least to see the boolean, go to this uh, boolean circle here in the subtool menu, and then make sure your live boolean is turned on. I have this uh, docked, but it's in a, where is this stored? I can't read that. It's under the uh, render button, which I have no idea where that is. Oh, it's here. So live boolean will be somewhere here. This is why I keep everything docked, because, uh, <laughs> uh... There it is. So if you go render booleans, your live boolean button will be there. Learn something new every day. So this way you can kind of manually uh, go in and fill out these spaces with this boolean. Which will work, but um, it isn't very exact. So, I'm just going to delete this. I'm going to go about it the same way that I did the other hollowing video, where I'm going to hollow out this and use a, a shell. Uh, so we're going to duplicate this tool. Then I'm going to dynamesh it, which will give me kind of a, some pretty bad results. Actually, I'm going to do a little higher resolution. So the edges are a little bit better. That's not bad. And then this tool, you'll have to set to a uh, Boolean negative as well. Um, let's actually move this into place first so it penetrates a little bit. Then you need to merge your Dynamesh model down so that it shares uh, the same subtool as that uh, Cylinder. Then we go to Dynamesh and create shell. I think a thickness of four should work out for this. That's a little bit thin. Let's go to six because your Dynamesh resolution will change um, this thickness modifier. You kind of have to play with it until you get something that looks good. So that looks pretty okay. Now let's. Ah. So I discovered something recently of why sometimes my booleans fuck up and sometimes they're just fine. So when you're dynameshing, um, dynamesh can save one of two things. It can either save your poly paint or it can save your poly groups. It cannot do both. So if you have these paint brushes turned on while you dynamesh, it will save your poly paint. And if you have these off, it will save your poly groups. In this case, I really want those poly groups because it'll help me isolate um, these inside um, areas. So I'm going to do that again. Uh, create shell. Wait, why didn't that work? Oh, because I, I, I undid the, the painting. Okay, one more time. There we go, much better. So, yeah, if you're using this method, make sure these uh, poly paint paintbrush things are turned off. It'll make your life way easier. So, we're just going to hide that outer shell, delete hidden, then I need to flip these polygons and then close holes. 
And these buttons can be found in the uh, display properties menu, which is here. This is where flip is located. And then close hole should be in modify topology somewhere here. Close holes, where are you? Delete hidden. Where's close holes located? Geometry tab. Doesn't say where though. It's somewhere. You can look that up. Anyway, so now we have this. I'm just going to throw a quick crisp edge polish just to give it a little bit nicer. Then I'm going to go in with the Sculptress Pro and just delete these thin areas. But you can just smooth them away, which is really quite nice to be able to do. And now we've got my original. But as you can see, this does not um, penetrate the back. So if we just mask this and slide it back, we should have a nice, almost perfect hollow for this pendant. Then you just need to go to Boolean, make Boolean mesh. That'll process, and you're good to go. Nice, light, um, hollowed out pendant, ready for production. So yeah, hopefully that um, will help out those that need it. If you have any questions, just uh, shoot me a text, leave a comment, all that jazz, you know. Take it easy, okay?